Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Layfield Report. Welcome to Behind the Microphone. I am Jerry Strauss. And, folks, usually this is our time to talk to some of your favorite personalities from outside the ring. Today we're talking to somebody who you know from both in and outside the ring. Uh, you know her from practically everywhere. She She's everywhere. Um, <laughs> she's so many places, um, you almost have to believe she has a twin out there. Uh, Brie Bella. Welcome to Behind the Microphone. No, thank you for having me. That's quite an introduction. I like it. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. <laughs> um, and Bree, I know that there's a lot of uh, a lot of hype and attention and excitement because we are getting set for the return of Total Divas on Sunday, uh, the 10th of November. Um, I know your life has to be uh, well. <laughs> I, I want to say getting busy again, but I'm sure it hasn't actually slowed down. Do you feel that uh, you're getting swept up again in that roller coaster ride? Definitely, but like you said, it definitely doesn't slow down. But um, it's definitely crazy to kind of see, you know, having a day and a half off to now pretty much no days. But I don't mind. Mm. You no, know, I enjoy it. I figured this won't last forever, so I might as well enjoy the ride right now. Well, let me ask you, um, it's got to be a daunting thing to agree to be in a reality show, um, especially one to the extent where uh, you and the rest of the Divas were followed and your lives chronicled. Um, looking back now that uh, the first batch of episodes has aired, with such success, um, what was the experience like watching these as opposed to living it? Do you think that uh, it was an accurate portrayal of what your life your lives were like at that time? You know, I have to, definitely for Brian and myself, I would say, and, um, you know, I'm just one of those people, I hate watching myself on TV. It's so funny. I just get, like, embarrassed, and I want to hide behind, like, a wall and not see myself. But, um, you know, I was really into it, and, I, you know, I think I watched Total Divas just like everyone else. You know, I sat there and watched it as a fan, and I really cut into it so much. And, you know, the thing is, is we're filming every day for long hours, and, so they really do have to edit and just make everything, you know, compact it. So you don't get to see really how, like, so many of the stories can be drawn out. But um, I think it definitely showcased what people didn't realize about Nikki and I and how different we are. And you really got to see that in Total Divas. And, you know, so many people probably sat there and were like, okay, Bree and Brian are together. Nikki and John are together. How does that work? And I think if you saw Total Divas, you totally understood that, you know, Brian and I are very much hippies at heart, and I think Total Divas really showed that. And um, we just live a very laid-back, relaxed lifestyle, where Nikki and John, and to, you know, they they like, you know, nicer lifestyle. But there's not a problem with that. But, um, you know, it's just funny to see the differences. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. You hit the nail on the head with, I think, the public perception of you guys, and I feel like, before this reality show, um, I think you two were probably presented in a certain way because of the whole twin magic type. Th I mean, you're, you're basically, your image was that of being very, very similar uh, physically and, and mentally and emotionally. And, um, you know, I, I know my wife is a twin. I've known twins in my life, and I feel like uh, in a lot of ways, you're always fighting for that individuality because people always sort of think of you as twins. Um, did you find it somewhat empowering to finally be presented to the to the world as your own person? Totally. And, you know, it's so funny because you probably can relate to this, too, because of your wife being a twin. But, you know, my whole life it was just like always like the twins, the twins, and this and that. And the one thing that was nice about Total Divas, it's like it truly is now Bree and Nikki. You know, and we're still the Bella Twins, but it's not being referred anymore to the Bellas, the Bellas. And now mm -hmm. it's Bree and Nikki, and it does feel great, and it does feel like I, I feel like an individual, and I love it. And, you know, I think one thing that you're going to be able to see in the second part of Season 1, starting here November 10th, is that Nikki was injured, and so I had to do all the live events and TV on my own and did all single matches, and I loved it. And you'll really see kind of where it puts Nikki and I and where I just am kind of escalating and she's injured. But where I'm really enjoying it because for once in my life, I'm just being looked at just on my own. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that the term of the twins is banned in my household, so I definitely understand. Yeah. Uh, the, you yeah. know. <laughs> um, so with this experience that you've gone through um, of having these cameras on you all the time, and certainly, you know, you certainly don't seem – like someone who is necessarily shy in front of cameras to have the kind of career that you that you've had so far, but how comfortable are you now uh, with the whole idea of cameras just following you everywhere? Is it something that you don't even notice anymore? Yes, and it's so weird because I think out of the whole cast, I was probably the most shy, and because um, it is hard. Like you know, you're walking in a place with like four cameras, and you're like, oh man, everyone's staring and this is weird but um now i just i forget they're there and then i'll walk in i'm like why is everyone staring it's like oh yeah i have a camera crew with me about three of them (laughs) but um it is funny because especially brian like he's so you know he's quiet and he's shy and um for him in the beginning i think it gave him anxiety but now it's like he's the same he doesn't even notice it so it's funny how that happens Unbelievable. Um, so you're ready for a few more seasons of this to come. But looking back so far, um, what was something, because obviously I, I think the show did a great job of showing some of the good, some of the bad, some of the happy, and some of the sad uh, with all of you. Wh- what would you say was something that made it to air that you found to be uh, embarrassing? Gosh. Um <laughs> There's, I mean, I love Brie Mode, and Brie Mode's fun, and it is definitely a side of me who I am very much in my mind free-spirited, unstoppable, and just nothing could go wrong. But obviously mm-hmm. when you watch yourself a little intoxicating, or intoxicated, it's a little <laughs> I, you know, slurring my words a little bit. I, I remember I was laying on the bed with Natty, and I'm watching this. And the advice I gave her was so embarrassing and just, like, what was I saying? Like, the world thinks this is the advice I'm giving to someone who's supposed to get married. I was just, like, I, my cheeks were so red watching. I mean, I think I was talking about, you know, the feeling that Chip and that Bill guys give you? Oh, I wanted to vomit. I was just, like, Brie, no. <laughs> but, um... But, you know, Brimo got over. So I was just like, okay, everyone, you know, they've had those kind of nights too. So I loved it, but I was definitely embarrassed watching. Ah, well, um, I, I think a lot of people, uh, that was one of the things that I think a lot of people uh, endeared themselves to you because of seeing things like that. Um, I, I want to ask you, because the show has been such a big hit, such a rapid hit, um, and certainly you've been established as a, a diva superstar for such a long time but do you find now that there's a lot of people coming up to you recognizing you without really even watching wwe just hey you're that that girl from from e like just totally separately yes and it's so crazy um because it's like the cutest little teeny bopper fans like will come up to me and um Mm. And they'll just be like, oh, my gosh, you're Brie from Total Divas. And, like, just the things they'll ask me or say, and I'm like, oh, they don't know anything about wrestling. And it's so funny and cute. And then a lot of times it will be business, like men and women. And they'll be like, wait, you're that girl. And, you know, and the, everyone will always bring up, like, Brie mode or, yeah, I wouldn't move to Aberdeen, Washington. And, like, Brian <laughs> a lot of times, too, like, he and I will be sitting, and we'll have people come to us and like, are you those people from that e-reality show? And we're like, yeah. Like, we saw the beard, and they'll always ask us, like, so what is it you guys do exactly? But they always bring up Aberdeen and be like, yeah, Brian, don't force her to move there. And Brian's like, oh. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's hilarious. But um, it, I probably have to tell you, Brian and I will get a huge amount of people who don't know anything about wrestling coming to us. Mm-hmm. It's insane because it's total divas. Oh. I got a feeling you're helping to put Aberdeen, Washington back on the map as well. I don't know if it's in a good way, but 
Uh, I, I know, yeah. right? And we'll be there the majority of December, and I love it. I just, not to raise me. My kids, it's like, put me somewhere sunny in Washington. If that exists, like, there has to be I, I think, parts and gloomy Aberdeen. I, I don't think so. I think you need, like, a, t- a tanning salon, that. maybe. That's that's all you're going to get. Honestly. Oh. Um, so well, let me ask you, you, you talked about how you came into the show as probably the shyest member of the cast. Um, through this experience of getting more comfortable, um, what what is the situation like as far as limits? I mean, was there any part of your life that you felt more uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, bashful is the right word, but uh, was there anything that you sternly put your foot down where you were able to say, look, this is a part of my life that we don't want you guys following us. We, you know, I refuse to do this near a camera. Is there anything? Uh, yes. <laughs> the bedroom. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> that uh, I think. <laughs> no, you would actually be shocked the things they would ask. I mean, not like they would want to fully see everything, but, you know, I, I figured the master bedroom doors will still stay closed. Like, Nic- Nikki is, like, not shy at all. Like, she will put on lingerie and be walking around with the cameras around or this or that and and, you know, like, yeah, I'm half naked a lot of times, too, but, like, she just, like, doesn't even flinch. And me, it's like, I can't kiss Brian and lingerie. Oh, my gosh. Like, it's just funny, like, but Nicole doesn't mind. And, like, you'll see some actually a really cute scene with her and John in, you know, the second half um, of Total Divas where she's in a very cute outfit for John to cheer him up. But I... Mm. When you guys all watch that, you will know. Brie can't do that. Like, no. That's one thing that they've asked me, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, I can't. Like, that's You're, one thing Brian and I will keep private. Now I feel bad for asking. I feel like we're 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 already dropping the ratings down for the second batch now that people realize. No, that no, trust me. Nikki, she, she, um, you have to tune in to see exactly what she does. You wouldn't even want to see me. You'd be like, more Nikki, more Nikki. <laughs> she takes one for the team. <laughs> oh, my um, God. I actually have to tell you, like, my sister, like, the one thing I've loved about Total Divas is she is hilarious. And I've always known this because she makes me laugh hard. She's a boulder, but I love boulder, and I, I like that sense of humor. And um, I honestly, like, I got to see, see a couple sneak peeks of what you're going to be able to see November 10th. And she is hilarious. Like, she's just, the stuff, she just says whatever comes to her mind. Like, I'm someone, like, when I think about it, I'll keep thinking, I'll keep thinking, and then I'll say something. The minute it pops in her head, she says it, and she's like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but oh, well. (laughs) But it makes her great TV. Um, So, Bree, one more question for you, and then we'll let you go. But I have to ask you, um, you've been a WWE diva for some time. Uh, you guys mm-hmm. left, you came back. Um, now you are a, a significant reality star. So with that being said, all the experiences you've had, um, where do you see yourself in five years? Because you have to believe that there's a lot of doors open for you now in a lot of different outlets, a lot of different categories. You can pretty much, I, I would have to believe, write your own ticket in the entertainment world. What direction do you see yourself going in, say, in five years? Well, you you know, it's funny because I love wrestling, you know. Um, I came into the business where people didn't know if I loved it. And, you know, it's funny because the first time I ever saw Divas, I was um, I was a Hooters waitress at 18 years old. So we'd show the pay-per-views. And um, I remember my sister and I, I saw them, and I was like, you know what, Nicole, that's our calling. Like, look at them. Like, they're kicking butt, but they're telling stories, and they're hot. And they're having fun. I'm like, that's what we're supposed to be doing. And, um, you know, I've been wrestling now. It's been almost seven years. And I love it. And I just, I keep wanting to get better and better. So, I, you know, I really hope my wrestling career continues on. But most importantly, I would love to in about three years. I'm going to be 30 here in a couple weeks. But I would love to be a mother and a wife. Well, obviously, I will be a wife here soon. But I would love to be a mother and one thing is, I do love the camera, and I love being physical in the ring. So, you know, if 
you can't be a pregnant wrestler, but maybe I could do, like, action films or something that would keep that kind of empowering woman side in me, something strong. Mm -hmm. But um, I do love entertainment. But I really hope I can wrestle as long as I can until I decide to be a mother. And it's just it's one thing, like, when I walked away for 11 months, um, you know, we had to walk away for business reasons, and it was really hard because the Divas Division wasn't doing good. And it was a big decision I had to make. And the minute they called and they wanted to get it back going, I was just like, oh, I'm coming back because I miss the ring so much. So I guess kind of like I just feel like everything's right I love. And um, so hopefully in five years when we talk again, I will have a little toddler running around. Uh, <laughs> Brian will probably be on the road still wrestling, but um, maybe I'll be doing some movie or something. <laughs> While the oh. cameras of Total Views are filming me having this conversation. <laughs> exactly. I've got a feeling no matter what happens over the next five years, we're going to be watching all of it on E! because this show is not stopping anytime soon. So No, um, I mean, hey, I might show up Courtney and do a natural childbirth you all can see. <laughs> I'll go through the pain. I'll say, no, Meg, let's do this. <laughs> let's uh let's plug the show once again. It's coming back for a second round of uh, episodes. Still part of season one, but uh, it's going to be a whole lot more Total Divas for you this Sunday, the 10th of November. Check your local listings. And uh, great, awesome for you to join us here. And uh, good luck with the part two of season one. Thank you so much. And tell your twin wife I say hello. <laughs> I will. Thanks. Okay. Bye. <laughs>